If your aim is to score 600 plus marks in NEET, then it is necessary to score 320 plus marks in Biology. And the fact is, everybody can score 300 to 340 marks very easily by following proper strategies. If you can't do great things, do small things in a great way. Likewise, if you can't get more marks in physics and chemistry, then try to balance it with biology. So, if you are a student who is very weak in physics and chemistry, then stop wasting more time in that part. Instead, master biology first, then go with physics and chemistry. That's brilliant. In this video, I have explained the best strategies you need to follow to score 320 plus marks in biology. And I have divided this video into two parts. Part number one, how to read and remember. Part number two, how to revise effectively. I am Ibrahim, NEET 2019 topper, currently posing second year MBBS in Madras Medical College. If you are new to my channel, then consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload new video. Okay then without wasting a moment, let's get started. First of all, biology is highly evaporative. So in order to stick the contents into your brain, you need to keep on studying the NCRT again and again. The average student does not use above 10% of his intellectual capacity for memory. He wastes 90% by violating the natural laws of remembering. Are you one of these average students? Don't worry, this part will help you to remember contents for a long time. Ok fine, let me give you an example. If you want to build the muscles in your body, you need to keep on using and stretching that muscle again and again. Same like muscle, your brain is also a part of your body. So in order to remember well for a long time, you need to keep on revising the topics again and again with a spaced interval in order to make a strong neuronal connection in your brain. Ok, in order to remember all the lines of NCRT for a long time, follow this laws of remembering. First law, impression, which is nothing but observation or concentration. The main reason for scoring low marks is not because of poor memory, but because of poor observation. In order to concentrate better, avoid distraction and start studying in the silent environment. Second law is repetition. Nobody can study entire NCRT in a single stretch. Memorizing is not a one time and one step process, but it is a slow and beautiful process. So how often you train your brain with the same information, that much effective it will be. Make sure you take a long break in between the repetitions. Third law is association, which means that you need to link the newly studied information to the information which you have already studied. This helps you to understand concepts much better and you can able to remember them for a long time. Follow these three laws in order to remember contents for a long time. Before proceeding to the next part, let me explain some strategies you need to follow while studying. First, as usual, give more importance to NCRT. If you study only NCRT, you can able to score 320 marks. Each and every line, diagram, summary after each chapter is very very important. There is a more difference between reading NCRT and understanding NCRT. So reading should not be your main goal, but understanding it is the main thing. More often, NCRT lines won't give you the complete in-depth meaning. It just give only the outline. So in this case, you need to go ahead and refer some videos or reference materials for better understanding. Second thing is that still there is some topics which is very important but that is not present in NCRT. For this I have made a list of out of NCRT important topics. So after studying NCRT go through these topics also. This PDF is available in our app under study material section. You can view that for free. App link in description. Third thing is that when you come across new information or new type of question papers, practice writing that in NCRT sites. This strategy is followed by majority of the doppers because it works. So next time when you are revising the topics, don't forget to revise this spots also. Fourth most important thing is that don't try to memorize the NCRD lines while you are reading for the first and don't try to take any notes. Always remember this point. When you try to read any new topics, you need to practice reading it like a newspaper and while reading underline the most important points. Second time, while you are reading the content again, now try to make notes and memorize. This is the effective way of studying. Fifth most important thing is that most of the time you won't get questions directly from the NCRD lines. Instead, there will be NCRD derived questions. In order to solve these kinds of questions, you need to decode NCRT. And this can be done by reading reference book. Always remember, NCRT must be your main book. To understand NCRT, you can use reference book. Ok, now we can move to the second part of the video. How to revise effectively. There are two ways you can revise, one is through passive mode and another through active mode. 
passive revision is nothing but reading the ncrt lines again and again from the beginning till the end but this kind of revision method is not effective and it is a primitive one active revision is nothing but revising the contents by asking questions or solving questions like solving any question bank or group discussion with your friends but because of lockdown condition it is very difficult for group discussion with your friends and most question banks won't have question from all the lines of ncrt so in this case you need to use memo neat app in this app you can able to solve question from almost all the lines of ncrt and that too including diagrams you can use this app for revising biology download this app i have given a app link in description check it out and launch it here in this section you can solve question from almost all the 10 units of ncrt from living world till ecology for example i will open one chapter and here you can find question from all the lines of ncrt including diagrams here in the second part you can track your performance this part tell you about how often you solve the questions for example if you made a mistake while solving question that particular question is automatically rescheduled this feature is really awesome in the free version of this app you can solve question only from few topics and if you want to solve question from all the lines of ncrt you need to buy the premium version for 999 rupees but you can use our coupon code neatmaster25 and you will get 25% offer for 750 rupees only to buy click profile tab and click purchase all the content here enter our coupon code neatmaster25 and click continue to payment here you can pay through any modes of payment after buying you can enjoy solving question from almost all the lines of ncrt i hope you like this video thank you for watching my video till the end see you in next video